Hey look, I'm like a famous YouTuber. I can do magic and puzzles. It's an impossible pyramid. Or maybe it is possible. Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna to be another episode of 3D printing with Puzzle Guy. I was gonna show you a lot of different uh, 3D printed bolts, uh, including puzzles and just impossible bolts, but something went wrong and it looks like I can't print threads. I've printed this small bolt, which looks like impossible since you can't remove the nut, uh, but at the same time it has different color, not the same as the bolt, but that was not so difficult to print. I found that I can uh, pause the uh, printing process and in the middle of printing the bolt I just put the uh, nut and then continue printing and that's how it's done just a nice little toy but here probably the uh, project file was uh, well made and the thread is not so tight uh, that's why the nut is moving so easy in all other bolts like for example this uh, kind of a nut case uh, puzzle the bolt is made very nice. Uh, it even has this uh, click when you put two parts together and it holds pretty well. But when I try to put both of these nuts uh, on the puzzle, that's where I fail since they're so tight. While trying to put one of them, I broke one of the bolts. I can glue it back, but uh, the puzzle is ruined already and I'm not gonna show it to you today. This uh, bolt was a huge success. Why I uh, decided to print it uh, is because I found a video uh, on a Russian YouTube channel where the guy was doing this kind of bolt but from metal. It looks amazing. I recommend you to watch his video. Everything is in Russian but it doesn't matter. Uh, you can just uh, see the whole process how he was doing the bolt from metal. Uh, he had like three or four uh, failed attempts and then he creates a nut and there is another video where he creates a nut uh, that has threads in both ways. So I've printed this bolt when I found the project. First of all, when I bought a printer, my first idea was to look for the project of this bolt. Uh, so I uh, printed the bolt, I printed two nuts. This is the uh, left thread, this is the right thread nut. As you can see, it goes different uh, direction. And this is the most amazing part since this red nut, it can go uh, in both directions. So if I unscrew it, it is also quite tight, but uh, at least I can uh, rotate it. But I've been uh, carving a lot to make it work properly since um, I had to carve like a lot of these spikes and inside the nut as well. So this uh, nut is amazing. It can go like this. As you can see, it goes down the bolt like this way. And if you unscrew it and keep rotating it opposite direction, it still goes down the bolt. That's just amazing. But the most fun part is that if you just hold the uh, nut in one place and rotate the bolt left and right like this, the nut will go down and the same way you can just unscrew it. So just a nice little toy which uh, was fun to print, which was fun even to uh, carve to remove the uh, material that was blocking the way of nuts. That was quite difficult to move the nuts uh, all the way down uh, to the, the bolt. But it looks good and it, it nice to play with it. What else I printed this week was the cute little Roblox sign. And that was not my request, that was request of my son. And I've printed it with two different colors. I found that while printing, I can uh, manually pause the uh, printer or I can do it uh, in uh, Cura uh, to modify G-code uh, that it will pause and I can uh, change the filament and uh, do a different color on top. So that is some discoveries that I've made during uh, this week. And also you saw this uh, amazing pyramid at the uh, beginning of the video, uh, if you put it like this, it looks like just impossible pyramid. But actually it is possible. There is a uh, hole on one side and when you put it in a right way, it looks like this part is going on top and the whole pyramid looks uh, completely impossible. Again, just a nice little toy. My son was 
uh, very excited when I showed him the picture and then showed him the pyramid. He was surprised. He's, he really thought it's some kind of a magic. Finally, yesterday I decided that I have to print a puzzle since this puzzle doesn't work uh, as I uh, expected because of the tight thread and I had to print something else and that was Akaki's Picnic. And I decided that I don't want to print an easy puzzle, I want to print the most difficult that I can find and that was, uh, as I remember, number 10, which is Sandwich Basket. It is written right here on, a, uh, on this piece. As you can see, sandwich and here basket. And on the other piece, there is also a Akaki sign. So that's it. I'm going to solve this puzzle now. If you are not subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Here is the button and like my videos. If you really like my videos, I'm going to grab my stopwatch, put it right here so that people who want to see time can see time and let's start it and try to figure out the way how to put all four parts into the basket. I've printed the, the parts that's supposed to be not so tight inside the basket but they uh, still were very tight when I try to put this piece it goes kind of very tight so maybe at some point I have to cheat and remove the handle of the basket just to uh, fit the parts inside uh, so let's try to figure out the way how to put these parts inside when it was printing I couldn't believe that all these parts can fit in, inside this tiny basket but I guess it is possible so let's see if I can put all parts in such a way that I can then try to solve it and put inside. There are only four parts, but this part is the tr trickiest one. Uh, since the puzzle requires rotation, probably I have to rotate this part. I can uh, put it inside like this without any rotations, but there is a possibility that it can be fit inside like this. I'm gonna put one part here, rotate it, and then uh, move it all the way down. So I have to well, I have to look for any possible ways to solve it. And some of the parts are quite tricky since, for example, this part is not so easy to find the way how to put it. And when you put this part, it is impossible to put uh, the other piece. Okay, that looks good. And this fits on top. And I have only one piece left. Yeah, but it's gonna stick out on top. That is not the correct one. How I can put it inside? I can put it like this. No, I can't put it like this. Since this piece, even if I try to rotate, it's not gonna be possible to fit like this. So the couple of possibilities how it can be done is like this. Or maybe it can go down like this without even any rotations that is interesting maybe I have to rotate other parts not like this okay let's try to put this piece these two goes together pretty well and then the last piece oh that looks like a nice shape let's see the top part will be covered and what I can do here if I put it like this oh there are like many possibilities how I can put it like this or like this Okay, so if it's gonna be like this, I can move this piece up and here, and that's it. Okay, but that doesn't help. But there is a rotation possible here, so maybe I can rotate it right in this corner. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but probably right here, it's gonna be 
enough space to rotate it inside the box. I don't, I don't really know. Maybe, maybe it is made in such a way that it's going to be just enough space to rotate it from one space to another. Okay, if I can rotate it, then I can remove it. So let's let's think that this is the correct move. So what's I, what I can do next? I can move this part and it is like this in the box. I can move this part up. I can move this way here and probably I can rotate it. Oh, that's definitely I can rotate it. I don't know if you will see it right now here when I try to remove this piece and it stands right here I can rotate it on this spot and probably it's not gonna be blocked by the walls of the basket and if I can rotate it I can just move it here and then remove and then I have only a couple of parts left and what I can do with them I can move it up I can move it one step up and then no it's really hard to understand oh I can move it two steps up then I can slide this piece to the right and this goes down and I can remove this piece okay so I can start by solving it like this the next piece is going to be this one Now I have to try to remove this big piece from the bottom. Oh, it is pretty tight to make these moves. Ouch! I have to figure out another way how to print puzzles since sometimes they're too tight. Okay, if it's gonna be like this, then everything goes down. Okay, now I have to try to Put this piece, move it here, and ooh, rotation is possible. As I told you, right in this corner, it is quite easy to rotate this piece. And then it goes down, and I have only one piece left. And looks like I can rotate it but I have to push a little bit okay I don't know if it is the correct solution uh, probably some of you who already solved this uh, puzzle can confirm but my puzzle is very tight probably that is the reason why now I have to push it a little bit since I don't know if there is any other ways how to solve it probably this puzzle has only one solution and the puzzle is solved okay it took me almost nine minutes to figure out solution yeah and you know what that uh, some of my parts they uh, have these lines when it was printed uh, the, the the side is not consistent and probably that makes it uh, much more tighter inside the basket and that is the reason why the parts are moving so hard so I have to remove all parts now this part goes first. Now I have to remove this piece. And yeah, this part rotates just so easy. And I can remove it. And the most trickiest part is this too. Since I have to move this, then this goes down. And remove this piece and this goes up. And the puzzle is solved. Hey, that's great. Uh, I thought that I have to remove the handle since it was printed separately and uh, I can remove it to pack all parts inside but I've done it without it. Yeah, I still have to uh, learn how to print better. Uh, actually, I've got my I've got my yellow springs finally and uh, I can install them so that my printer is gonna print better. Uh, I don't have to adjust the printing bed so much. Uh, but uh, I don't want to do that now since uh, during this week uh, uh, a lot of uh, projects were printed and uh, I had just a couple of fails uh, 
and uh, it seems like working pretty well. So I don't want to ruin everything until it works uh, well, but when everything will go south, I have to uh, change the springs. So I'm talking too much today. So uh, I've solved Akaki's picnic sandwich basket. That's quite a nice uh, little puzzle. Probably I'm gonna print uh, more of these uh, uh, little puzzles. They are gonna be interesting to solve. And since I like Asano Yamamoto uh, uh, puzzles, uh, this seems like very similar to uh, his puzzles and I'm really gonna enjoy all 10 of uh, Akaki's picnic baskets. Hey, by the way, today I solved uh, Asanori Yamamoto uh, puzzle from the next Pelican, Pelican release, which is gonna happen, I don't know when. That was quite interesting solve and uh, I will tell you that sometimes I'm really stupid when I'm solving puzzles. You know that I'm a huge fan of Dr. Volker Latusek puzzles and uh, yesterday was released uh, his new puzzle. It was released by Puzzle Master. And this puzzle is made of acrylic. It is a TD, uh, 2D packing puzzle. I think it's going to be something interesting since this puzzle has a couple of restrictions. You can't put pieces from the top. There is a small gap uh, on the side of the uh, tray where you have to put all parts. So that's going to be something interesting. Uh, I haven't got this puzzle yet, but I'm going to uh, get it soon and uh, solve it here. So you have a chance to buy it, solve it uh, by yourself. And then in a couple of weeks, maybe months, watch my attempt to solve the puzzle. Link to the puzzle is going to be in a video description. So that's all for today. If you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Make this uh, red button uh, gray. That means that you're subscribed and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time.